New Orleans may be best known for its elixirs on Bourbon Street, but in the heart of the French Quarter, chemists can find a different kind of elixir. The New Orleans Pharmacy Museum is a recreation of a 19th century apothecary shop, originally opened in 1823 by Louis J. DeFillo Jr., America's first licensed pharmacist. Inside the museum, shelves and cabinets are filled from floor to ceiling with bottles and jars containing crude drugs, herbal medicines, and voodoo powders. 19th century pharmacy in New Orleans was a unique blend of European methods, Native American use of medicinal indigenous plants, and a dose of African American herbal medicine. Back then, practitioners would compound medicine from scratch using plants, minerals, and animal and insect ingredients. Matthew Chandelier, a tour guide for the museum, describes a few of the fascinating relics that can be found in the museum. So here we have some species jars, which uh, contain the raw materials that a pharmacist would use to make medicine. So they have all sorts of uh, vegetable, animal, and also mineral products in them. Um, and the shape of the jar can oftentimes indicate what's in them. So these larger ones we have down here are some kind of uh, completely unprocessed material. There's more uh, square ones up there that had liquid in them. But there's all kinds of stuff in these species jars because they were really using a variety of different uh, ingredients in medicine. So here's some lichen. There's definitely a lot of use of herbal medicine in the 19th century, um, but at the same time, a lot of uh, more chemical things were starting to be synthesized in laboratories. Um, and over the course of the 19th century, um, medicine came to look a lot more like it looks nowadays in terms of uh, standard medicine. So here's some sulfur, an example of a mineral that was commonly used. Um, but so in the 19th century, they were using these uh, herbal remedies which are still used today by herbalists and had been used for centuries prior to that, but also a lot of uh, newer chemicals that were being synthesized in laboratories. Um, and a lot of the things were, um, are still used today, a lot of things were really beneficial that were discovered, but of course there was also the use of very harmful chemicals like mercury and arsenic and lead, things like that. There wasn't a lot of knowledge of their injurious qualities. Um, so, speaking about animal products, we have an example of that here. These are some little greenish beetles, um, which are labeled cantharis, but are also known as Spanish fly. They were popular as an aphrodisiac in the 19th century, but just caused life-threatening inflammation. Um, it was not a very good thing to take, but uh, there was a lot of use of insect exoskeletons. We also have jars of shrimp, crawfish, things like that. They were all being used in medicine. If you miss the Pharmacy Museum during this past ACS National Meeting, don't worry, you'll get another chance when ACS returns to New Orleans in the spring of 2018.